If you are simply creating a model to explain functionality and utility of the project, maybe you're satisfied with what we've done so far. But our clients don't want an explanation of their space. They want to feel their space. Lumion helps you communicate with emotion. In this video, I'm gonna show you how one click is probably all you need to finish this project. But stick with me, because you'll also wanna know how to mix your own special blend of effects to truly master Lumion and render images that pull your clients into the space. Sound good? Let's get to it. On the bottom right, clicking on the camera icon will take us to the photo studio. This is where you can take snapshots of the scene you've built and add effects to make a more compelling image. The interface of the photo studio is a bit different than build mode, but you still move around your scene with the same camera navigation controls. Adjust your focal length with this slider. You can double click on any slider to enter precise values. 35 is nice for exterior shots. Click this button to set your eye height at five feet. Click this button to level out the horizon. You can save camera locations by clicking the store camera button above each camera slot. Let's add a few cameras. Clicking on any stored camera takes you back to that spot in your scene. These numbers below get you access to additional photo sets. There's room for 100 shots. Click on the viewer window to render a quick, high quality preview. This feature saves us a lot of time and guesswork when adding effects. In Lumion 12, you can open up the theater mode by pressing the F11 key, then click on the high quality preview to see a large, almost finished view. Keep in mind that our final render will be even better than what we see here. Click the checkbox to return to photo mode. Let's explore styles. These are truly the easy button in Lumion. Check out the preview. Clear the style by setting it back to custom. The FX button at the top left is the door to Lumion's effects. You can blend several effects to build your own custom style. There are several different effect categories. Concept, architectural, lighting, sky and weather, camera, animation, artistic, enhancements, and tools and utilities. The best effect to start with is real skies. This will set the mood of the entire image with beautiful natural lighting. There are about 60 real skies with pre-configured skylight settings. Let's start by building out three different custom styles or effect stacks, a rainy morning, a sunny afternoon, and a starry night. We can completely change the emotion and feeling of the scene by simply adding a different real sky, nothing else. Let's layer in some complementary effects to embellish our design story. I'll add the precipitation effect to our overcast morning. Notice how the raindrops interact with the 3D model and even Lumion's water. On this beautiful sunny day, the sun is casting really harsh shadows. Add the shadows effect and turn on soft shadows and fine detail shadows. That's much better. We'll add another advanced effect to all of our stacks, reflections. Lumion invented speed ray reflections. Switching them on improves reflections without much of an impact on your computer performance. The pencil allows you to add reflection planes to specific surfaces, or click the auto add button and Lumion will add them for you. These are perfect reflections, but they have a bigger impact on computer performance. Add the color correction effect. I usually warm the image up a notch to balance out the blue light from the sky. Click on the preview area to get a quick render of the results. You can even use these effect stacks in the movie and 360 panorama studios. I'll show you that in another video. Click the green render button to export the current shot or the entire photo set. Check out these final renderings. Each one took less than a minute to render at 4K resolution. With Lumion's effects, it's easy to give your design the feeling of a cozy stormy morning, a lazy summer afternoon, or a wondrous starry night. I've taken you from importing a 3D model all the way to rendering out a final set of images. Now it's your turn. Take what you've learned and apply this five-step process to a project that's on your desk right now. What's holding you back? Make some images. I know your client will love them. You've got the foundation, but there's still more to learn. Check out this playlist I made to continue digging in on mixing effects and rendering. Or check out this video to see what's new. It's our latest release. By the way, have you subscribed yet? Either way, I'll see you next time.